like that. Like, 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 he get mad. Like, they throw this shit away. You mad because they throw this shit away. But here it is. America fucked up. Yeah, I think they was trying to pass a law forcing businesses to give that food away. Yeah, they just throw it away. Yeah. They won't let you touch it. Everybody know who Mike Dicker is, right? Oh, yeah. Mike Dicker? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mike Dick has claimed there's been no oppression in America the last hundred years. Damn. I can't believe Dick has said that. Bald motherfucker. And he in the NFL with nothing but Jake, you know what I mean? Saying shit like that. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why he said it, because he's around a bunch of rich Israelites. Yeah. He's probably, he he's blind. Now, he's yeah, yeah. Because Jake's in the NFL, they living, you know, they got that money. But that's a very small percentage of the population. Yeah. How, how often do you see an athlete, an entertainer, or whatever, not mentioned, millions coming out talking about? They ain't gonna be out here. You got Kaepernick. You got a couple of them that run the back. Uh, you see what happened to him. But y'all see what happened to him though. Yeah. Anytime you come out, man, they, they fuck with your money. You know, Jake don't like nobody fucking with his money. He go, oh shit, let me. Even though they might be doing this, I'm gonna just keep quiet. Fuck it. I'm paid. As long as Jake getting paid, he don't care. Yeah. Kaepernick was probably instructed by a Jew. He's probably struggling. Probably was, man. You, you, you never know how what's going on behind the scenes. Right. Niggas ain't who you think they are, man. They really? Ain't this, they ain't this, you, know, you got something ca called controlled opposition. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's how the devil controls you, because they, they'll control the left and the right. They'll, they'll claim to be the good guy and the bad guy. You know what I mean? Just like the, uh, the most popular thing that happened in Rothschild during the Civil War. There wasn't not when they were going to Civil War. Well, they, well, Napoleon, both of them, actually. Right. <laughs> yeah, but Napoleon, Napoleon, yeah. They got paid off Napoleon losing it. Uh, while That's popular, too. Everybody knows about that, too. That's how the Rothschilds really uh, came on, became on top. Um, so when we read some of this on Greece, I'll go ahead. Huh? Is that Ecclesiastes 7 and 7? Go back to that nigga, because he ain't saying it. He's saying there's no pressure because he ain't getting pressure. It's uh, Ezekiel. At least Ezekiel. seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. See, so that that nigga, his name, whatever that was. Like Mike Dicker, famous yeah. football coach. He was actually a player too. Yeah. That's what. Sixties. Yeah. It says gift destroyeth the heart. If you like, if you if it's like saying since you mad, you mad at somebody, and they give you like, here nigga, take twenty dollars, whatever. You are gonna be happy. You know, you gonna your anger's gonna you're gonna be pacified. Pacified. So that's, that's why. why he's baby like, crying. Oh, then you got yeah. Because you got a lot. You got Israelite groups would be out there uh, calling themselves teachers, but somebody will come to them, you know, in a dark room. You know how they say. And they and they gonna give you. They gonna offer you that briefcase of money. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. He, he's a detective. So how you gonna have people claiming to be leaders and teachers, but they work for the NYPD? You got you out your mind. You smoking crack or something. And the there's some witnesses to both accounts with Nate and Yohanna that were brothers around saw the bump of the white man came in with a briefcase and left out without it. So you know? Selling out for some paper. Yeah. And you know? Selling out like it's like we was talking about earlier, man. These niggas got the same spirit as Cain and Esau. The spirit spiritual, the spiritual blessing, the promise don't mean shit to them because they don't have it right now. They ain't benefiting from it right now. That's uh, yeah. that's the spirit of Judas. There you go, Judas. Yeah. I remember uh, oh, the silver. Hank Williams saying, that, "You ever heard that Hank Williams song? Thirty pieces of silver, yeah, yeah. thirty shekels yeah. of shame." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah they, real, man. That's they, real, man. They sell out for that. They think is they got they got rich. You ain't get rich. This is the riches right here. Is the truth. No riches, it's temporary. Yeah, those are temporal riches. Yeah. The riches we got is eternal. You can't you can't like. If you got a briefcase of money, somebody can put a gun to your head and take it all from you. So you can drop dead. Right. You cannot rob us of the riches we got. You can't. You can't get it. You can kill us, stab us, whatever. You you, you still ain't got my riches. Well, you ain't gonna get it. Precious oil. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't get it. You can't rob us of our riches. So there ain't no worse than the sellout. Somebody with that Judas spirit on it, man. 
But that, that's a heavy demonic spirit that's out here. People love to sell out. That's why you got rappers. Like you hear about rappers. You know, they, uh, they sell out and they start wearing all that Illuminati symbolism. They got the eye of, you know, the all seeing eye shirts. And the first thing they tell you I had to was for my family. Yeah, they do it for their family. Yep. Fuck family. Yeah, fuck family. Yeah, fuck family. <laughs> You gotta sell your soul for your family? <laughs> Maybe I need a new family. <laughs> That's always been my attitude. Fuck my family. So, they ain't doing shit to get me up out of here. You know what I mean? Like, you, uh, uh, right from the shit, they be, man, listen. You can go to the government and ask for help, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. It's not that damn serious that you gotta sell your soul, get rich, and you know, tell your family, feed your family. You go to different programs, you can feed your family and shit like that. You know? they, 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 they do that shit for themselves. For the they ego. They just try to uh, justify themselves. Yeah, yep. In the, in the entertainment industry, they just gonna chew you up and spit your ass out anyway. Somebody had to do it. Cause you know how you feel, like you know, like you was talking about. I, I, you feel bad that mistake that was bothering you all week long. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with me. It happens all the fucking time. That the Most High's death, the Most High dealing with you. He's in your mind that whole time, making sure for you know. <laughs> Shit. It's great. You know, somebody had to take that. So Judah took himself out, man. Can you imagine that spirit when you <laughs> take yourself out? Man, you had to though. That was a right to kill. See? <laughs> that one. <laughs> they said it's intestines. Then they say it's intestines. Yeah. So okay. Damn. Yeah. Hey, but actually, the Lord even said that anybody who comes against us and offends us, they should go kill themselves. That's right. Because one of the worst things is in store for them. So they better get a head start. Because the Most High got some worse in store for you. Shit. Piece of shit. Couple pieces of garbage, man. Don't want to wait on the bus. What's up, big dog? <laughs> this is back to 73. Up, 73. And none. Yeah, right there, right there, right there, they set their up, mouth yeah. against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore, his people return hither and waters of the full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, right. how doth the Most High know? Well, probably north anyway. All that wickedness. Sure they think it's the Most High ain't seen them. And you is there knowledge out. in the Most High? Behold, days. these are the ungodly. Um, What's up, y'all? What up, yeah. man? You know what? I don't care if y'all need a ride. I don't care if I can live. Let me know. I'm still your brother. My man. <laughs> All right? My man. <laughs> Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocentness. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of my children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High, then understood I therein. Said, uh, pretty much, you know, you got, got weak a little bit, like, oh shit, look at these people prospering. I'm doing this, I'm flicking my soul. Like, what, what reward is for me? But he said, you know, I'm ashamed to even tell a brother, something like that, I forgot exactly what he said. But he said, then he understood, he understood the scriptures. Like, okay, at the end, at the end, they're gonna be destroyed, so there's no damn point. So I'm just gonna be patient, but it's a little bit better. There you go. There you go. That's hard. That patience is the hard part. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's patient. Just like when I was locked up, man, motherfuckers going to the commissary line. They ain't a rush. You like you locked up. Where you going? <laughs> Where you going? They just want to get some snap. Like you get your shit, you going back to the goddamn still locked up. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody have no patience. One skip to my life. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> hey, murder. Yeah, the race is not given to the Swifts. You know what I mean? Hey, the, the tortoise in their hair. That's all I know. Patience means to suffer. 
patience. Sit just like the disciples. It does mean to suffer, suffer don't patience. it? Yep. Yes, That's what, it never related to the word penance, maybe? Suffer patiently. Yeah. Suffer patiently. Because we know when we get that reward, man, we're going to be like, oh, that was nothing, man. Like, that really happened? ain't going to be. You're going to laugh like, at We're going to be like, what the fuck was we talking about? <laughs> that wasn't shit. Cause once it, yeah, because once it's over, it's over. It's over. That's ain't never going back. Yeah. <laughs> ain't never, never going back. Going back. <laughs> I'm going to keep this. I'll keep this. Real quick. I, was I got thinking, one, too. I, I was thinking about too. that scripture. Man, what scripture is that to say that? We ain't never going back, man. It's shit just like the disciples. The disciples thought uh, the kingdom was coming back then. I got limitations for that. I was trying to go out butchered earlier. Okay. 4, 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity, iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Yeah, so, uh, why, you just break that down. The, uh, because Esau, Esau's fin to go into slavery. And, that, and that's the scripture I was actually thinking about right there. That's the scripture I was thinking. I couldn't remember, but that's the one, yeah. When it said that Israel's never going to go in slavery again. Israel ain't going to... This is the last time we're drinking out that cup. 23, 24. Proverbs 23 and 17. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be down in the fear of Yahweh all the day long. For surely there is an end, and the expectation should not be cut off. It said, surely there's an end. So all that little uh, being high, money, all that bullshit, that's gonna, that's gonna come to an end. So you wanna you wanna think about the future, what's gonna happen in the kingdom. Now, since it's real close, I'm gonna skip to 24, Proverbs 24 and uh, 7, uh, 19. Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked. For there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be cut out, cut out. So all that shit they doing, uh, going around the world, taking riches, taking gold and shit. Their reward is going. Shit, their Literally reward is destroying nations. Yeah. You can't be judged at them because they got riches and power. Because their reward is going to be death. Our power is going to be life eternal. Right. That, that's the spirit of every man. Not every, damn near every man. I'll say 66 points percent of Israelites, two thirds. Yeah. Their spirit. Is, that's all they think about is like, man, they constantly uh, lusting after their riches, envying people. That's, what does the Ten Commandments say? Uh, uh, don't cover the neighbor's property and all that. You looking at your neighbor because he got a nice car and you wanted his car. You jealous. Up. That's the spirit of, you know, that spirit of jealousy. Up. Everybody, uh, you, people just can't be happy with getting their daily bread, you know what I mean? You're supposed to be happy for a brother anyway. Because we're... Get that. Go ahead and read that. You want me to read that Ten Commandments? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Exodus 20. And, uh, two, I'm sorry, two, and no, it's tough. And the most I speak all these words saying, I am the Lord thy power which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no yeah. other gods before me. Thou shalt not make any the graven, any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water and water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to thee, nor serve thee. For I the Lord thy power am a jealous power. Visiting the iniquity of the father of the children into the third fortune of the children. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep me in the commandment. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy power in vain, for the Lord will not hold your guiltless that take his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath day. With the Lord thy power, in it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy male servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that which is in them, in them is, and rest of the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which thy Lord. Which the Lord my power give thee. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh, these are the laws. When you start getting to these ones, well, actually, they don't fall under the Ten Commandments out here. They all worship different gods. Nobody keeps the Sabbath. Uh, everybody commits adultery. Yeah. You got a bunch of murders. Like you said, Columbus done got. They, they 
goddamn nigga. Columbus done broke their own murder record. And a lot of the things, Columbus was our number 20 on the list or something, right? It was in the 20s on most murders. So you got all these major cities in America that got hundreds of 200, 300 murders a year in each city. Yeah. That they know of. That's what they're trying to get to. Oh, Niggas think that's what they're trying to do. That's, that's, a, badge yeah, that's a badge of honor. Yeah, that's a badge of honor. That's like they got a high score in Gallagher or something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's crazy, man. They're actually trying to compete with Chicago. Baltimore. How would you want to compete with that? New Orleans, <laughs> Texas, you know? They will. They like they like living in hell, man. Yeah. These people enjoy the they they love they made it a covenant with hell and death. Yeah. Yeah. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou <laughs> shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant. Oh, they don't want to hear that. Thou shalt <laughs> not cover thy covet thy neighbor's wife. That that described damn near this whole country. You listen to all the rap music and everything. It's all about, I fucked your bitch. I stole your shit. Just like uh, Lil, Lil Durk, he had made a song called He Fell In Love With His Homie's Girl, right? Oh, so, my God. Uh, but hold on, this is a good part. Now he made a song about his baby mom because his baby mom was fucking his homies. So now he and his feelings talking about, you dirty bitch. And I'm like, oh. you were just talking about fucking your homies, girl. Now, you're, now your bitch is fucking your homies. Now you... Now you know how it feels. Hey, that's a li <laughs> literal poetic justice. <laughs> yeah. So now he's talking about he ain't sorry, but he's sorry because you did a song about it. It's on your mind. That shit hurts you, man. There's a reason why the Lord <laughs> said don't commit adultery. Because actually, when you have sex with a woman, you and her spirit become one. Yeah. So when somebody takes her from you, they're taking a part of you. It's you know what I mean? Act of homosexuality too. Yep. Talking to uh, Ooh, got this oh, scripture. That's, right. that's a gift. That's a gift. Uh-oh. 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 Yahuwah is the creator and Yahushua is the son. And the Ruach is his Holy Spirit. Uh-oh, got that Ruach. She got that here. Okay. All right. I was saving it. I feel you, your wife. It's a study, too. She's going to give you that gummy. That's some funny shit right there. Hey, we just got a good laugh. I got, hey. I'm having spasms right now. I can't laugh. Bro. Nah, see what? She coming up with that. Hey, uh, I'm trying to hold my yeah. Hey, she way better though. Lee Shane. Hey, you right. She, yeah. she trying. Even yeah. though she got it all wrong. <laughs> she, yeah. It's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yeah. It's not Ruach. It's Ruach. <laughs> That's some funny shit. What's up, bro? You believe in justice? You believe in justice? Yeah. Just, just us. Israelites. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just us. Yeah. Well, always out here saying that shit. No justice, no peace. <laughs> <laughs> they still, they still peaceful as fuck. Lying ass nigga. They say, you know they say, no justice, no peace. They still yeah, peaceful. they peaceful. They ain't right. They are peaceful pro. Like the uh, the right will try to say they're all violent pro. They're not violent. Usually that's some instigators that go into protests. The protesters ain't never gonna run up in the courthouse or run up in the state house yeah, and start dragging, no. dragging think, them out. I don't think nobody got the balls to do that. Nah. <laughs> and they right there, they can do it <laughs> yeah. with the numbers they got. They can, but they ain't gonna do it. They ain't gonna do it. <laughs> they can have you overwhelmed. They could. If, if all Jake United and they can just run up in all these buildings. Burn them all down. But that ain't gonna happen. That's gonna happen <laughs> when the Lord returns. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna hunt them out of every hole and every crack and every crevice in the earth. That's the gift. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's oh, wife, shit. nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, 